So you've probably used AI or the large language models to generate documentation for code, essays, and so on. Could be that you're a researcher, developer, or whatever. Could also be that you're doing research. Could be that we just want to generate an outline or full document with our research, with our essays, and so on. But in this video here, we're going to take a look at a new tool specifically made for this. So you can go in, generate outlines specifically made for academic writing and so on. So you have the correct style. It is also plagiarism free. They have a checker and so on. So all of that will be run through. It's just an AI model checking if it's human written or generated with AI. It's also very reliable when we're talking about citations and so on from different resource libraries. If you're just using ChatGPT, Claude and so on, it might just generate random resources, citations and so on. We can't really use that for our documentation, essays, reports and academic writing in general. So let's just jump straight into the platform. Let's take a look at the different features. We're going to run through some real life examples where we're going to generate some text with Claude. We can generate some outlines and rough draft with this tool here. We can do some comparisons and take a look at the results. So first of all here, we can go in and generate a new document. You can see previous documents and so on as well. And you can also go in and do this paraphrasing. If you already have a text that you want to make more human written, it's going to use all these AI models to detect plagiarism. So when you're using this tool here, it reduces the risk of plagiarism because it runs these models on top of it, but also specifically made to get around those. So it's going to create a new document here. I just pressed on the top left corner. If you want to try it out yourself, everything will be down in the description. You can just go inside the website, start writing for free here, test out the free trial before you go with a paid option. You can also read a bit about it here if you want to dive more into details, but we're pretty much covering everything in this video. So first of all here, let's just go inside our new document. We can start generating an essay. We can directly just throw it in here. We're going to do that to start with. After that, we're going to generate one with Claude and do the para rephrasing. And after that, we're going to do the paraphrasing with the Claude outputs. So first of all here, just looks like docs, could be Google Docs, Word and so on that you're already used to. We can upload a document, generate an essay or generate an outline for a topic. So let's just choose this one here down to start with. We can see if we have easy prompt, reference, and we can also have the number of words that we want to generate it for. First of all here, let's just go with three to 7,000. You can upload documents and so on. You can do like read your PDF files and all of that as well. Combine it with your essay prompts. So right now we can just describe your essay prompt here that we want to generate an outline for. So right now we just have this very simple prompt. You can make it way more detailed and so on. And it's specifically for academic writing. Could also upload documents as a helper. We can have references. So depending on like what you want to have or and also the amount of words. Right now, let's just hit the next steps. It's going to generate the outline, might just take a second and you'll get it directly here in the document. Then you're gonna do modifications as in any other document editing tool. So we can see we have chapter one, introduction, chapter two, findings, technology components, and historical context, engineering challenges and considerations for Mars mission, case studies are successful, uh, space missions and conclusions here at the end. Then we pretty much have an outline we can both use it for essays, just getting an outline draft, we can make modifications, we can make it more personalized after that, or basically just use it as our research helper. We can generate an essay or we can insert it. Right now we can also regenerate it, but let's just generate the essay or insert it. There we go. Building rockets for Mars exploration and orbit launch. Introduction, findings, technological components and historical context. It looks pretty good. And we have this full document with around three to 4,000 words. We also have the assistance over here to write. You can go and ask it any questions about your document. It will basically understand what you have in your document. If you're gonna make any modifications, changes and so on, it's also going to be able to help you with that. See research, we can search publications and so on. So you can just have like space. Rug engine. There we go. Now we're going to get a bunch of different research papers. We can cite it directly. We can get the content incorporated, integrated into our document here as well. So let's just take this liquid propellant, rocket engine throttling, a comprehensive review. We can cite it and we can also get the content. So right now I'm just going to pull this up. It gets the link. You can read through, you can skim through the papers and so on and integrate it into your own document. So pretty much everything here, if you're writing documentation, doing a ton of research and so on, it's just way easier to work with compared to having ChatGPT, 
cloud and so on where we just it basically just figures out like different resources of course you can use it for some of the technical stuff but if we're just working with documents these tools are significantly better so right now we have all the research we can also have the format here so you can edit the format if you want to create like a research proposal format template post class journals format and so on so this is also very helpful and will save you a lot of time so let's now grab this document here that we have created there we go i'm just going to copy it we can go back into the paraphrase there we go we can upload up to 10,000 words so right now we just have these 500 words paraphrase and then it's actually just going to reduce the risk of plagiarism it's going to throw it through the ai model and then we can see the text over here to the right so it's going to make it more humanized so it doesn't look as ai generated and act like just be able to get around these ai generation detection models so now we can see that we have our edited text over here we can then proceed to edit we will get a new document here and then we can go and do our modifications in the human version so this is basically just putting everything together making some modifications to make it look more human like so as a last example here so as a last example here, how we can use this tool, we can also see our documents. You can upload a file, you can create a new essay and so on. We have different examples in here, but let's now just go into Claude and do the exact same thing. We can go in and ask it to generate an essay, create an essay. And we'll get the response here in just a second. Again, this will look very AI. And it wouldn't be able to pass any AI detectors. It will just be flagged as AI generated off the bat. But then we can use these tools to go in and make it more human-like. Also, if you're just doing research and so on, instead of like write, reading through all these robotic answers, we can use the tools to just make them more human-like. We can go in and do edits. So we have our notebooks inside that platform. There we go. We should have it in just a second at the conclusion. Let's copy the contents. Let's go back again into our paraphrase. There we go. We can paste it in directly here, paraphrase it, and then we can edit it inside our document, add it to our document so we have our whole folder structure in here. There we go. We can see it basically just divides it into the different chunks, makes some minor modifications and so on, and then we can edit it later on. This tool here can help you save a significant amount of time, but it's also specifically made for academic writing or if you're doing documentation of your code and so on, and also make it easier to do the citations, find relevant research papers for the work that you're doing, because this is actually like a very hard task. Let's say that you have your project, you're finalizing it, you want to create like all the citations, all the resources, you want to pack that up at the end of your project. It takes a long time, especially if you need to search for all the documents. Right now you can just basically just have the whole folder structure. It's just Google Docs with all these AI features, the citations and made specifically for researchers, but also just academic writing in general. Definitely go and check your tool out. All the information will be down in the description. Let me know if you have any ideas of like how this can help you guys be more productive, more effective and so on. I really like using these tools for doing research compared to just the robotic answers from Claude, ChatGPT, and so on. Those models are still very good. Each of these have advantages and also disadvantages. So you need to use the right tool for the right task.